welcome to another transformative transformations video. Um, we today are going to be talking about composition of transformations or composite transformations. You will need three colors, your booklet, and of course a straight edge to stay nice and neat. Um, we don't have any definitions to put in our glossary today, but if you turn to page 17 in your booklet, we do have one word that we're going to define within our notes. So composite transformations are just transformations that are composed of a series of different transformations. So we've got right here a composition, and I'm sorry this blank is so tiny, but a composition of transformations is just one transformation followed by another. As always, our directions have us graphing the original coordinates first, and then we're going to apply a series of transformations, and we're going to draw each new image in a different color so that you can see what's going on and so that your poor teacher, when they're grading it, they can see your pre-image and then know what color your other images are in. So, as always, I am going to list out my pre-image here just to help me stay organized. Remember that your original coordinates are in the format X, Y. It's going to be important to know that when we start applying some of these rules. So K is 4, negative 1. L, according to this, is 5, negative 2. And M is 1, negative 4. So we're going to be plotting this triangle. All right? So starting at the origin, over 4, down 1 is my K. Over 5, down 2 is my L and over 1 down 4 is my M. And I am going a little bit quicker today to try and make the video a little bit shorter for you, but if you need to pause or slow down or whatever, feel free to do that. All right, so there's my pre-image in pencil. Now I am going to switch to another color. You, when you're working through this, should stick with something that's erasable. Um, so we, the first transformation is to rotate triangle KLM 180 degrees. So to rotate 180 degrees, regardless of whether you're going clockwise or counterclockwise, the rule is we take our original coordinates and we change all the numbers to their opposite. It says negative, but really it just means the opposite of whatever it was to start with. So K prime, my x value started out positive 4. The opposite of that is negative 4. My y value started out negative 1. The opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. So that's my new k coordinate. L is going to follow the same pattern. 5 becomes negative 5. Negative 2 goes to its opposite, which is positive 2. And then m prime becomes negative 1, positive 4. So I'm just taking everything and making it its opposite. The order stays the same. All right, so let's graph this bad boy. So I'm going to negative 4 plus 1. That is k prime. Negative 5, positive 2 is l prime. And negative 1, positive 4 is m prime. So if you look at this from a rotation perspective, we have taken this little triangle and we've spun it around this point. It was as if there was a little string attached here and we just flung it around 180 degrees or flung it around this way 180 degrees. Regardless of which way you go, it ends up in the same spot when you're going 180. All right, so our next transformation to make this a composite, we've done rotate, check, and now we are moving to reflecting across the y-axis. So to reflect across the y, The rule is we leave the y value alone and x goes to its opposite because really if we're reflecting over y, then y is king. He doesn't have to change. The x value is going to change. Now, something that you have to think about with these composition of transformations is I am now trying to reflect this image. So it kind of becomes my new pre-image. So I'm ignoring these original ordered pairs now. This is different from when we're doing multiple examples on the same graph. I am going to ignore this and treat these as my original coordinates. So when I change x to its opposite, that means whatever it was here, I want the opposite 
in my new ordered pair. So it was negative 4. The opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. Y is king, so 1 gets to stay the same. When I do L double prime, my X value is going to change to its opposite. The opposite of negative 5 is positive 5, and my Y value gets to stay the same. Again, ignoring those original coordinates, I am I am reflecting this guy now. So then M prime, sorry, M double prime becomes positive 1, and 4 stays positive. All right, so let's reflect it. 4, 1 is k double prime, 5, 2 is l double prime, and 1, 4 is m double prime. So you can see that we've taken this. It was one point to the left. Now it's one point to the right. k was four points to the left. Now it's four points to the right. So we've just reflected over that y-axis. And when I connect those points, I have my final image which is a composite of transformations to get this here. Now, something to think about is, was there another way we could have achieved this same image without going through all of that? And that's something we can discuss in class. All right, congratulations. Have a great day, and we will see you in class tomorrow. Bye-bye.